Hello everyone, and welcome back to Leighton's Mystery Journey, Cottrell and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. We have finished chapter number one. I haven't started chapter number two yet. We're still uh, in that in-between segment where we've solved the case, but haven't moved on to the next case. Cottrell's intriguingly insightful investigation uncovered the truth. And the first case has been closed. Well, how did you like the basket, Shell? Was it comfortable sleeping in there? Yeah, thanks, Ernest. Beats sleeping on the street. Well, if there's anything else at all that you need, let me know. I hear you're homeless at the moment, Cheryl. You can live with me. I'll be your owner, it will be fantastic! Poor Cheryl. Dog has no idea who he is or who his owners are. And he's a talking dog! That, that, that makes life a little bit tougher for him. No business? Well, we just solved a mystery for Scotland Yard! Ooh. Dogginess? What's that? Chase cats? You're gonna have him chase you, cat? That doesn't make sense, Catriel. Oh, oh, ah! His sense of smell, aha, uh -huh. good idea. Oh yeah, he'll be a great police dog, you know, considering he can talk English. And no, never mind, he can't smell at all. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that would make solving mysteries too easy, so I guess Cheryl cannot smell. Not unless he rolls around in the mud or something like that, but that's a different kind of smelliness. <gasps> phone call? Let's have the dog answer the phone. No, but seriously, he's a dog. He cannot talk to customers. Really, really, Cottrell? Oh. Can't, can't you just be nice to the poor dog? Just be nice to the dog. It's not his fault that he, 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 he can't, you know, take phone calls. Ah, he's going to congratulate us on solving the case. A murder? What? What is it? Is the person dead or not? That's the that's the easy way to tell if it's a murder. Okay, well, case number two is this kind of a murder, but maybe not a murder, but could be. Oh, what's wrong, Ernest? What's what's wrong, buddy? Aww, he wanted to ask her out on a date, which is not actually a date, but maybe it is a date, but maybe it isn't. It's a lot like the murder, in, in that sense. Huh. On the banks of the Thames. The show of devotion? Hmm, sounds like a very romantic date. How can they hear each other if they're on opposite sides of the river? I thought it was a very, very wide river. At least wide enough for several boats.
Yeah, next year. Yeah, you can fall in love with her next year, buddy. What? Oh no! Cancel the festival? Oh no! Oh, uh, uh. well, Ernest, you know what? I think maybe you should get her some delicious food, and then she'd be more accommodating towards you. Yes, but there, there's also the murder mystery, so we should probably solve that rather than trying to create romance between our two main characters. La 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 la. Oh, so we are starting case number two. Hmm, interesting. Murder on the Thames. See, I was told we could go back to case number one. Actually, I'm told there are like 12 cases in all, and you can revisit old cases for new puzzles or something like that. So I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Apparently, we're not getting into it now. Mm-hmm. Aww, they first met each other. What a treasured memory. What happened, Ernest? Were you, were you falsely accused of a crime and she cleared you? Or was that like Emmy and Leighton? Yeah, uh, anyway, different game, different game. D different video game. I wonder how they messed. Missed? No, met. What is a case coda? What is a case coda? Let's check this here on the bottom screen. I want to see what these case codas are. No, okay. No, I don't want to see whatever that was that the game was showing me. Case codas are like mini episodes you can only see. When you solve a case, you get a case coda. Ooh, okay. And I can read the case description. Once you've solved the case, you can get the key clues, review your case files. Or you could watch my video walkthrough. Okay, so short story. Let's see. So what happened with all that missing silverware and Chancer Lane? That is, in fact, it was like a red herring. Yeah, we, we never resolved that storyline. So let's resolve it now. Yeah, what happened to the silverware, buddy? Oh, come on, tell us. They, they were simply misplaced. Well, it's interesting, because the Scotland Yard, I mean, Inspector Hastings said there was a rash of missing metal throughout the city. Ah! You thief! You thief, why did you steal it? All right, way to go, Cottrell, forcing a confession. Perhaps in the next case, uh, Cottrell will be equally good at recognizing the culprit from the very start. Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. Okay, so that's a Coda, I guess I called a mini episode. We've still got like three things here in her bag. I don't know what that is for. Um, yeah, no idea what that's for. Case files. So those are just the clues. Yeah, those are just the clues. 
Alrighty. Mm, puzzle index is gonna indicate that I missed puzzles? Nope, didn't miss any puzzles, I'm fantastic. Okay, whatever, whatever. Let's, let's, let's move on with this mystery. Let's enter Scotland Yard. I forgot to mention, we can return to the agency at any point. Oh, is this what I was talking about? Whenever you'd like to go back, touch the latent detective agency icon. All the details of all cases on the pin board, so you can switch to a case. Or play around with the Feng Shui if you don't like how it's, it's decorated. There we go. There we go. Okay. So like I said, we have the ability to return to all uh, previous cases. And when, when we do that, for every five puzzles you solve, you get a decor thing. Oh, that's cool. We've solved ten puzzles, we get... Anyway, <clears throat> as I was saying, we can go back to previous cases. Go back to previous cases, that's cool. And uh, there are new puzzles if you revisit a case. So, like, there would be a new puzzle in a place we haven't seen before. So, that's cool. That's something I'm going to do. Not here in this video, though. Not in this video. So, uh, like I said, there are about 12 cases in this game. I think 12. So, how about after every fourth case, I go back and do uh, a bunch of puzzle videos. I'll just do a long video where I go back and solve all the puzzles that I missed in the, in the four previous cases. How's that? So, I'll try to focus on the storyline, and then just have a huge, huge video, which is nothing but puzzles. Ah yes, and you're famous, Cottrell. Okay, so, um, talking to him was irrelevant. Let's go inside Scotland Yard. Something's wrong. Oh, well, I guess it's a little quiet here, but we don't know if it's a murder. Ah, oh, there's dirt. Okay, dirt. He shall give us the dirt. Okay, where are you, dirty? There he is. Hello there, you're on the same trail as me, I dare say. You've heard about the incident at the Riverside Festival, I presume? Murder, no less! What a dark world we live in! So it was a murder, then? Yes, probably, or maybe not! But it does seem likely, then again. Oh, I thought of all people you'd know, at least. Well, the word on the street is that it was a murder, but the police haven't made a statement either way. Seems a bit odd, don't you think? A murder at one of London's biggest events should be a front-page news article. Oh, I guess we're just gonna have to get the facts straight from the horse's mouth. If by all you mean Professor Inspector Hastings, he passed through here not long since. I pressed him to give me a lowdown, but he gave me a cold shoulder. I think he's probably still in his office, he is. No need to thank me. All I ask in return is dishing a debt you happen to pick up. Any fink will do. Woo! Well, I think we should not open my briefcase. Why did I open my briefcase? I think we should go to Hastings' desk. You know, I think I should stop with the um, weird accents. That's what I think. Okay, so where is he? His face is as black as thunder. What a troublesome case. Maybe he finds every case troublesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That's probably true. Yeah, cat. I'm waiting for you to show up. I see you got your usual entourage with you. What did I just say about not doing silly voices? Yeah, what happened here, Hastings? Oh man, they can't cancel the festival. Aw, he was gonna take his wife there. So is it a murder? Yeah, yeah, you, you told us it was a murder. Alrighty, alright, we're gonna re we're gonna get a recap of the case.